Welcome to another episode of the LNG Academy, this time on board the Avenir Aspiration LNG bunkering vessel, and I am your captain. This on-site episode is brought to you by Avenir LNG. Avenir LNG is a fully integrated global energy company dedicated to small-scale LNG customers and working to provide LNG supply solutions for off-grid industry, power generation, marine bunkering, and the transport industry. Thank you, Avenir LNG, for allowing me on board the Avenir Aspiration LNG bunkering vessel. Behind me is the 2018 MS Visby, a 200 meters long ferry with a capacity of over 1,600 passengers and 500 cars. LNG bunkering is in progress right now. Welcome LNG Academy on board Avenir Aspirations. Hello, I'm Irfan Satria, Master of Avenir Aspirations. Uh, I have uh, experience uh, working on board the ships since uh, 2003. I was working at the uh, LPG and LNG business, and I'm joining uh, Avenir since 2022. So at this moment, uh, Avenir aspirations we are doing bunkering uh, business, supplying LNG to uh, ferries. At this uh, very moment, we are uh, doing bunkering operations, supplying LNG to uh, MS Gotland, and we have carried out two bunkering operations uh, for today. The ship is operating uh, mostly in the Baltic area, so we were loading at the Klaipeda, discharging at Trelleborg, and also at uh, Fisby. As an LNG uh, bunkering vessel, we uh, supply LNG to ferries, uh, passengers, uh, vessels. So prior we uh, do the bunkering, we prepare the ships, uh, we prepare the lines to be cooled down before we do the discharging. And then at the anchorage, we need to prepare our pneumatic rubber fenders. These fenders to be uh, deployed on the ship side uh, and then to be lowered by our crane. Uh, these fenders to make sure that when we are coming alongside, the ships are protected uh, to avoid if there is any uh, contact. So when uh, the ships well alongside, the crew will be uh, start to connecting the cargo hoses 
after we connect the cargo hose, we connect also the ESD systems, uh, we connect also the perk systems in order uh, for safety operations if there is in case of uh, uh, any leakage, if in case of the ships needs to be cast off, it can be uh, disconnected, the hose can be disconnected. So once, once the hose is connected, we pressurize the cargo hose with the nitrogens in order to check if there is any leakage on the connection of the hose and also on our pipeline at the manifold. Once we reach the pressure for the pressure testing, both sides confirm there is no uh, leaking. Then we can uh, lower down the pressure and then we will do the EST test from both sides. Uh, this test is to make sure that in case of emergency uh, we can uh, activate our emergency shutdown and then all the valve and all the uh, cargo equipment on board the ships will be shut down. This is to make sure that there is no uh, excessive liquid uh, when there is uh, a leaking. So once we carry out the ESD from both sides, we reset the systems, we start uh, cooling down uh, the cargo hose uh, for, ex for uh, about 20 to 30 minutes. Once the cargo hose are cooled down, properly cooled down and the hose is liquid, are, the hose are filled with liquid, then we can start to ramp up, uh, rising up the discharging rate up to the maximum. Uh, once almost when the cargo quantity to be discharged are about to be uh, reached, we uh, ramp down the discharging rate and then when it's reached the quantity, we stop the cargo operations. Uh, the next steps is that we have to uh, clear the line, we have to purge the line by, with nitrogen. So we have to make sure that there will be no uh, remaining liquids in the cargo uh, hoses before we do the disconnections. So once the cargo hose are uh, clear from the liquid and also uh, gas free, then we can start to do the disconnection of the cargo hose and then when we are uh, clear we disconnect the cargo hose uh, and then we put the cargo hose back uh, cargo hoses back to the positions That this ship is operating in the Baltic Sea. Uh, when we supplying our LNG, we uh, uh, the port that we visit are Fisby and Trelleborg. Here at Fisby, uh, we, as I uh, certified with the pilot exam certificate, so I don't need I don't need the pilot to assist me. And uh, and uh, since the ship is equipped with the AZ ports and the boat thrusters, I can maneuver the ships very easy. Then uh, we are not uh, required any tack assist during the maneuvering. One of the key steps in ensuring safe LNG bunkering is verifying that the supplying vessel or facility and the receiving vessel are compatible.
Because of the complexity of LNG as a cryogenic liquid, it is more important to confirm compatibility than for other marine fuels. Once a commercial request is received, the operations team will conduct what is known as the compatibility study. The compatibility study typically considers technical, operational and safety aspects to verify the compatibility between the supplying vessel and the receiving vessel. The items reviewed include the operating area of the receiving vessel, port evaluation and the prevalent weather. A mooring analysis is conducted using the well-known OptiMoor software. The evaluation of adequate fendering and spacing is carried out, as well as the reach of the crane, sufficient hose length, the type of coupling used, the manifold arrangement, especially the height of the manifolds. Documents, like vessels drawing among others, are also exchanged. Communication protocols, interface and connections between both vessels are also crucial and the compatibility of the emergency shutdown systems and electrical isolations needs to be confirmed. The receiving vessels should also have nitrogen purging capabilities and if vapor return is required, the supplying vessel should be equipped with a compatible vapor return arrangement. Another item to be determined is the tank pressure of the receiving vessel and the acceptable transfer flow rate. Other administrative aspects are considered too, like permits or country-specific regulations required at the port. A port agent is appointed to represent the vessel operators or owners and facilitate the efficient arrival, working and departure of the vessels in the port. Once all compatibility items are reviewed and agreed upon with the customer, a bunkering plan is established. There is a full set of procedures supported with documents that need to be followed before, during and after bunkering. Those procedures follow a pre-approved set of checklists for each step of the operation. As you can see, a lot of efforts are spent behind the scenes. Close coordination, Careful preparation and effective scheduling are the trademarks of a successful LNG bunkering venture. I would like to thank again the management of Avenir LNG for organizing this visit and the amazing crew of the Avenir Aspiration for showing me around the vessel and explaining LNG bunkering operations to me. Thank you for watching this episode and we'll catch you on the next one.